If there is one thing on this planet that I love the most, it is beverages, darling. I love sparkling waters, I love smoothies, I love juices, I love mocktails. Any liquid you can drink, I want it. Which is why I'm always keeping an eye out for new types of things that I can sip that are different or unique. And Instagram ads are a great place to discover these types of potentially money-wasting products. That's why I was very intrigued when I was advertised Olipop, this sparkling health tonic, which is supposed to taste like your favorite sodas, but be good for digestive health and low in sugar and calories. So I got the variety sample of Olipop drinks and we're gonna try all of them today in another tasty sippy installment of trying Instagram products. Are you ready to get refreshed? Hello television viewers, my name is Nick. Thank you so much for joining me once again on my channel for another sassy installment of trying Instagram products. This is the series where we take home those products that you see advertised on social media and we see if they're worth our money. Sometimes they're gadgets, sometimes they're foods. It's always a good time though. You guys might notice that this is a new camera and microphone setup. New camera, who dis? I was really excited to be shooting 4K HD right now and of course added microphones help the audio sound better. So I hope this is good for you guys, but I'm still messing with the settings. Also, I might not have the skin for 4K film. Like you see a lot of texture here. Anyway, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you wanna see even more episodes of trying Instagram products. There's a whole playlist. But most importantly, if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you click that subscribe button right down there. That way you never miss new videos from me. I upload two new ones every week, so make sure you turn on those notifications so you stay in the loop. You don't wanna be outside the loop cause we're sipping on Olipop. So we have four Four flavors. Check out that autofocus moving so fast. Ginger lemon. Classic root beer. I love root beer. That's my favorite soda flavor, I think. Strawberry vanilla. That sounds really good too. I've never had a strawberry vanilla soda, so this will be a new one altogether. And then finally, vintage cola. Ooh, I love cola too. It looks like most of these sodas have 35 or 25 calories. Nope, all of them have 35 calories and contain between 3 to 7% juice. Here's a better look at the nutrition. You see it's pretty low sugar. This one has 35 calories in a can, only two grams of sugar, which I believe is a lot less than a traditional can of soda, right? Like real soda has like eight grams of sugar or something like that. I don't know, I'm not science. Let's take a look at the advertisement that drew me into this product in the first place. What do you say? Let me pull up my Instagram where all the magic happens. Go, 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 go. I'm stalling, I'm stalling, I'm stalling. This is taking one year, this is taking one century. This particular ad is for the cherry vanilla flavor, but you guys get it. It says that it has only 45 calories, supports digestive health, and no artificial sweeteners. And then when I went through to the website itself, the product is marketed as the healthy alternative to soda. Olipop uses clinically backed ingredients that benefit digestive and microbiome health. Shop products. This girl says she loves it, blah, blah, blah. So it's gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO, paleo, and has no added sugar. So what really drew this to me is like, I drink so much kombucha. You guys know if you've seen any of my tr like Trader Joe's grocery store hauls, kombucha is where it's at for me. I love having a healthy gut. I love getting good bacteria in my foods and eating probiotic foods. So the fact that this supports microbiome health is great for me. I don't think that it has any actual probiotics in it, but it does have Olismart, chicory root, artichoke, kudzu root, cassava fiber, cassava syrup, marshmallow root, slippery elm bark, calendula flower, apple juice, lemon juice, cinnamon, stevia, pink rock salt, ginger essence, mold spice flavor. So that all a smart blend, which had all of those flowers and fibers, I think that's like a prebiotic blend. And I think that those herbs are good for your biome. They help feed the good bacteria and promote the growth of healthy bacteria within the gut, which as you may or may not know, the gut brain Skin connection is all the rage right now. If you have a healthy gut, it can help reduce anxiety. It can help with like skin conditions. It can help with immune health. Basically, it's the second brain. So having a healthy gut is having a good life. I think that's enough background. What do you say we do some taste testing? 
Here I've got a glass. Have you ever heard of a glass that you can see through? Like what? I wanted to get something that we could see the color with because if I drink it right out of the can, we're not gonna know if this is artificially colored or if it's bright and vivid like you would expect a normal soda to be. I'm curious. Now, the next question is which flavor do we start with? I'm least excited about ginger lemon, not because it sounds bad, but it's just like not my favorite thing. So let's see. We spent years crafting a drink that's as good for your digestion as it is delicious. Olive Hop combines the benefits of prebiotics, plant fiber, and botanicals in a sparkling tonic. Oh good, it has a little copy about the flavor itself. Our lemon ginger combines a kick of real ginger juice with sweet mulling spices and a pop of crisp lemon. Ginger, a natural antioxidant root, can help soothe the stomach and increase blood flow. That's all I need to know, baby. <laughs> Cracked. Let's sniff. It smells like ginger right off the bat, and I get a very tonic-y feel, uh, definitely a spicy ginger. It kind of smells like when you open a fresh kombucha, so I love that. I love the autofocus on this new camera, you guys. Look how fast it goes from my face to the can. I'm so happy. Here's the pour. Ooh, yellow. Okay, nice color there. Nice light sparkly texture to it. It has lovely legs. Let's sniff and open the bouquet. Yeah, getting a lot of that ginger. It's a very invigorating ginger fragrance. Let's do our taste test, ready? This is Olipop ginger lemon flavor. Mmm, very nice. It tastes just like a ginger lemon tonic like you would expect. It's very lightly sweet, which is great. I was kind of expecting like, this is not even quite as sweet as the kombucha that I drink. It's actually lighter. Definitely not quite as effervescent as a kombucha. You kind of get a real carbonated feel to kombucha. This is just lightly sparkling. Let me try it from the can. Yeah, it's really not too sparkly. And while the flavor isn't bad, it is a little heavy on the ginger for me. It's just a, giving me a little too much of that spicy, herby ginger. And with the lemon, mm, it's just not my favorite combination. So it's not bad. It's lightly sweet. I could drink it if I wanted to, but I gotta be honest, I am hoping that some of these other flavors stand out a little bit more to me just because this isn't necessarily something I would buy a case of, this one flavor, but that's why I got the variety pack so I can try many different ones. Uh, hi, Nicholas couldn't come back to the video, so I'm Veresica, and I'm gonna take over the rest of this video. What flavor should we try next, Veresica? Everyone asked, and then I answered. I'm, I'm tempted I'm tempted to go for the vintage cola because it sounds vintage and I love vintage stuff. That's why every time I go to the ice cream shop, I say, I'd like a single scoop and a chocolate malt, please. And then I'm murdered. Vintage cola. You guys, this is gonna taste just like Coca-Cola did back in the 1800s. <laughs> this one contains 3% juice. It smells just like Coke. Yeah. That smells just like a can of Coke. So I'm very encouraged by that. It says, with notes of cinnamon, vanilla, and caramel, our old style cola of both the new and familiar, while gently lifting the spirits with a mix of green tea caffeine and alpha galangal extract. Wow, they really do something special in each one of these. This one has caramel essence, vanilla bean essence. I like how complex these flavors seem like they're gonna be. All right, are you guys ready to experience the vintage cola of it all? Classic cola color. It's maybe a little less dark and a little more translucent than regular cola, which is good. It's probably not containing any of that artificial caramel color. Yeah, I'm getting complete name brand Coca-Cola from this. It really t smells very familiar, but let's give vintage cola of my probiotic beverage a taste. Ooh, that's so good. I definitely get a stronger caramel and vanilla note than I do from store-bought Coca-Cola. It almost tastes like this maple candy we get in New Hampshire where it's just maple sugar. I also get the warmth of that cinnamon on the back end, but definitely a creamy vanilla taste to this, what I really, really like. Much softer and sweeter and more complex than Coca-Cola, but also a lot more natural tasting. Like I can taste the notes of things you would bake with in here. There's like vanilla-y feelings. Ooh, it's so good. This is delicious. And I didn't even know that it had some caffeine, but it's only green tea caffeine, which I can't drink a regular Diet Coke. It gives me so much anxiety now at this point since I stopped drinking coffee. But something with a little green tea caffeine, I can definitely handle. I wonder if all of these have caffeine. I don't think they do. 
Two grams of sugar for that, you would never guess, because that's really delicious. Yum. I'm gonna go ahead and give the vintage cola a big thumbs up. I really, really, really like that. And I didn't even expect to like the cola, but yummy. Prebiotic, so good. Oh, hi. Veresica couldn't finish the video, so she sent me instead. My name's Pecky Sue, and I'm just a little girl from the dairy farm. And today we're gonna try the uh, classic root beer flavor from the farm town. Ooh, I'm excited for this. It's cold and crisp. Our old-fashioned root beer melds just the right mix of classic bite and creamy sweetness with extracted sweet birch, smooth vanilla bean, and real burdock root. Guys, this is the fanciest thing I've ever put in my gullet. This is fancier than that time I drank bilge water from the yacht. <coughs> Crack it open. Ooh, that smells like good, good root beer. That smells like the kind of root beer you get in a glass bottle from the corner store back in New Hampshire that we used to go to up in the Lakes region. Oh yeah, I get that vanilla-y, mm, and I get that rooty root root. What is even in root beer? Root beer flavor extract. I guess root beer is an actual root. What? Anyway, let's see what color she is. This is Olipop, classic root beer, baby. A drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Ooh, that looks good. Mmm, smells amazing. You could put ice cream in this and make a root beer float. I'm sure of it. The taste, or the smell is exactly the same. Got a little bit more bubbles in there than that first one that we drank, and it is a darker in color than the cola, which is what you would expect. Let me open up the bouquet. Y'all, this smells so good. I can't wait to take a sip. Olipop Classic Root Beer by Peggy Sue herself. Mmm, yup, yup. That made Peggy Sue sing a little bit. This is really good. Again, not as sweet as like, what's that other root beer that everyone buys at the store? A&W root beer? P.S. Have you seen an A&W restaurant in real life? I've seen commercials for those, but I've never seen one of those in real life. Let me know. Maybe it's a regional thing. This root beer, however, is delicious. It doesn't give you that sweet, sweet candy taste, so it's a little more refined and mature, but it's undeniably root beer. It almost tastes like a root beer barrel, like the candy, but again, less sweet. It's not gonna hurt your teeth. Oh yeah, did this one have caffeine? So far, the only one that I know to have caffeine is this one. Yeah, it contains 50 milligrams of caffeine. This one does not. That's great, only the cola has caffeine, which I love because I don't love caffeine, but I do love green tea caffeine, so I could drink a full can of the cola if I wanted. But this root beer is my favorite so far. I love the cola, but this root beer, you guys, I love root beer. I wish I had ice cream, I could do an ice cream float with this. Mm. If you love root beer, you have to try this because it tastes just as good as root beer, but it has only 35 calories per can. Yum. Okay, that's a clear winner so far because I just drank the whole can and the rest I only had a sip of. Next, we have another standout surprise that I'm excited to try, strawberry vanilla. Let me rinse out my vessel and we'll try her out. P.S. I'm on my third camera and microphone setup since I started this YouTube channel, but I'm still wearing the same exact t-shirt that I've had since day one. It's embarrassing. Why, hello, Peggy Sue died. So she sent me to finish this video. I'm Nick Doremio, the worst one of them all. Get ready for a nightmare. <laughs> You guys, tomorrow's Friday for me when I'm shooting this, so I'm excited for the weekend. Even though in quarantine, that basically means you get to do more nothing. All right, this one says, our take on classic cream soda blends real strawberry juice with vanilla bean and a touch of lemon for an indulgence that somehow clocks in at only three grams of sugar. Cream soda? The only thing that I love more than root beer is cream soda. My family never really got cream soda, like my mom and dad, but my cousins in Massachusetts, the Gilmores, they always had cream soda in the fridge and sarsaparilla, which we never got. They had raspberry ginger ale as well. So those were not sodas we drank in my house. Um, we drank ginger ale and coke and i think ginger ale and diet coke was probably it so this one is supposed to be cream soda even though i would never have thought strawberry vanilla was anything even close to cream soda i would have thought vanilla root beer was a cream soda or something what is the official flavor of cream soda supposed to be let me see either way let's take her open her and smell her Mmm, I smell fresh sweet strawberries there. Yeah, this smells like strawberries, not like cream soda, so I'm very interested to see how this shakes out. Let's see what the color situation is. What's this drink's color story? 
Ooh, so pretty. It's like a blush pink. That's my favorite in terms of color so far. It's definitely the most attractive. It's sort of like a rose gold, don't you think? Very cute. Getting lots of fresh strawberry and a creamy vanilla note in there. The smell is really turning me into an excited individual. It smells really good. All right, kind of getting like a strawberry jam fragrance. Let's take a sip. Oh, she's not what I expected at all. Oh, it's sort of like eating a jelly roll right off the bat because you get that vanilla plus jammy fruity sweetness. But the smell is slightly sweeter than the taste. So it's a really light taste. Oh, my sister's calling. Hi. I think all of the flavors have this really nice vanilla quality to it that gives it all a creamy feel that I really appreciate. I notice it the most in the root beer and it comes through a lot in this strawberry vanilla. Dare I even say that this one tastes the most like traditional kombucha, which I like, but this is a prebiotic version. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And over some ice, that's gonna be perfect. Let me see if I have some ice. I had freezable frozen fruit shapes. Ah. Oh yeah. These could be my summertime drink. I got that summertime, summertime beverage. Like a couple, of, a case of these in the fridge over June and July. That sounds just right to me, baby boy. Low calorie, refreshing, giving me all of my prebiotic goodness. I'm here for it. Hmm. Ah, so the definitive ranking from top to bottom, I'm gonna put the ginger lemon last. I don't think I'll be reordering that one when I get single packs. The vintage cola was delicious. I'm very here for it. Um, let me try it one more time. Yeah, that's gonna be probably the best for entry level people who are not into like tonics or herbal beverages yet. Cause this one tastes the most like the traditional soda that it's emulating. So that would be a safe choice for someone who needs to be convinced. Next, strawberry vanilla is so refreshing. Definitely a good alternative to my top favorite, which is classic root beer, which was so delicious and sweet and creamy. So for me, I think between these two and probably the vintage cola are the ones that I'll reorder full 12 packs of because yum, these are worth having around. And it just feels good knowing that they're also good for my digestion. Like I said, I, I take a lot of probiotics. Like I'll have a kombucha every day. I take uh, probiotics a lot throughout supplements. And then I eat a lot of probiotic foods. So getting some extra prebiotics in there is really exciting for me because I know I'm helping further support my healthy digestion without like taking too many probiotics. You know what I'm saying? And it tastes just as good as like my sparkling water, which I am fully addicted to. So it's a win, win, win. What do you guys think of Olipop natural sparkling tonics? Would you give these prebiotic beverages a try? And which flavors would you go for first? Let me know in the comments below and give this video a big thumbs up if you wanna see even more episodes of trying Instagram products. But most importantly, if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you click that subscribe button right down there. That way you never miss new videos from me. I upload two new ones every week. You guys are all the greatest. Thank you for getting so done delicious with me today. I will see you next time.